Hi there,、uh, my name is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Today,、uh, I want to talk about the site speed, how you can improve.、Uh, this is a little bit specific. This is about my own website, as you can see. So, my company website,、uh, I developed this website back in 2013 or 14, around that time. Uh, so, uh, I'm taking this video.、Uh, now it's 2020, seven years old. And then、um, it's getting slower, and I understand why it has been slow. Now, I've been used, I used, the, it's called Avada themes. It's now 7.1, it's quite a bit the version upgrades. And then,、um, so they have lots of resources too. Um, and also, I started using Elementor. Now, like heavy resources theme and Elementor theme builders. So that's too much. And then uh, uh, this is not really I'm proud of. So I gotta fix this. So I'll show you、um, the site speed test here. So I use、uh, GT metrics. So let's see how, what's, what's wrong with this website. So here is the result. So the page speed score is D, 61%, and then Y slow score is 69%, which is not so good. Now, here, here it is. So the page detail. So fully loaded time is 23.6 seconds. That is pretty bad. So let's see what's the average. So the average、uh, fully loaded time is about 8.1 seconds. And then、uh, total page uh, size, uh, the average is、uh, 3.1 megabyte. Now, you know, it's, it's slightly above average. And then、uh, again, so this is not something what I'm proud of and something I have to fix. Now, this is pretty bad. The request is 300, 301. The average number of requests is 87. So, And then,、uh, so let, let's take a look here. So, I want to go to Waterfall. Now, there are lots of things,、uh, there are lots of like HTTP requests here. So, that's like 300. And then、uh, I'm glad I checked today.、Um, I had a time. So, by the way, like my client's website is much, much better and much, much faster.、Uh, this is seven years old website. So, finally,、uh, I'm trying to dig in here and try to fix this.、Um, so, as you can see, those scripts are、uh, related to Avada theme. So, now let's see what happened if I, if I change Avada theme to something else. So let's go to、uh, dashboard and then uh, let's uh, go to、uh, appearance. And now, so the hello theme. So this is、uh, the theme that was developed, the same developer as the Elementor.、Uh, it seems to be、uh, this is pretty、uh, bearable, minim like、very minimal theme. So、uh, let's switch to that. So I'm going to activate. And I know the site is gonna break.、Uh, that's okay. I'm、um, doing this as a temporary. And then,、uh, so also, let's go to plugin here. And I'm going to deactivate、uh, those Avada Builder and Avada Core. So those are plugin.、Uh, I'm probably not gonna be needing it. So deactivate. Okay, so.、Um, Uh, let's take a look at the website. I'm kind of scary <laughs> what's going to look like. So, it, here we go. So, it, it doesn't look pretty,、uh, but that's okay. Now, let's go back to、uh, GT Metrics. Now, I'm going to just leave that,、uh, open a new tab. And then do the test again. So, the, here is the result. Now, the fully loaded time is 4.2 seconds, and then uh, uh, the total page size actually significantly reduced and,、uh, to 1.7 megabyte. And then the, the, the number of requests is only 66、uh, compared to 300. So let's kind of put the side by side here. All right, here we go.、Um, so the left hand side screen. 
is a Vata theme uh, with using Elementor and then other bunch of uh, plugins. And in the right hand side result is just switch the Avada theme to Hello theme uh, using Elementor. So that's a significant change. You know, fully loaded time is 23.6, uh, down to 4.2, and the total page size is uh, uh, you know almost four megabyte to 1.7, and then this is a huge thing that number of requests is 300 down to 66. And I'm gonna just check uh, waterfall here too. Uh, there's some waiting some here too. Uh, probably some caching to be done. Um, and as you can see here, the number of requests is much, much lower. So I'm gonna stop here today. But I guess the point being is um, if your website is probably over five years old, and you are seeing some issues uh, like in terms of speed, uh, you may be adding more plugins and then um, uh, you may not be in contact with the original web developer. So uh, it's kind of time to check, um, you know, analyze user G, uh, GT metrics in my case, uh, do some analysis. And then, uh, you know, good thing about the WordPress is that uh, because content is still here. If you know you can change your theme, and you can clean up some uh, plugins. You know if your website is five years old, you might have some better plugins out there, so you can switch that, and then you can make some tweaks, and then make your website perform much much better. All right, so uh, that's it for today. And then once again, uh, I'm trying to document uh, how I going to uh, rebuild my website. So uh, hope to see you next time. Bye for now.